Who would win in a fight? Anka from Dota 2 or Gangplank from League of Legends? We'll put these two up against each other in two different battles, one the battle of the lore and one the battle of the in-game abilities. First up, here's the battle of the lore. If you need a summary on their lords, here you go. If not, go to the time on the video to start the lore battle. And don't forget to subscribe. Neither the flames nor their depths could claim me. As unpredictable as he is brutal, the dethroned Reaver King, known as Gangplank, is feared far and wide. Where he goes, death and ruin follow, and such is his infamy and reputation that the merest sight of his black sails on the horizon causes panic amongst even the hardiest crews. Having grown rich preying upon the trade routes of the Twelve Seas, Gangplank has made himself powerful enemies. In Ionia, he incurred the wrath of the Deadly Order of Shadow after ransacking the Temple of the Jagged Knife, and it is said that the Grand General of Noxious himself has sworn to see Gangplank torn asunder after the pirates stole the Leviathan, Swain's personal warship and the pride of the Noxian fleet. While Gangplank has incurred the wrath of many, none have yet been able to bring him to justice, despite assassins, bounty hunters, and entire armadas being sent after him. He takes grim pleasure in the ever-increasing reward posted for his head, and makes sure to nail them to the bounty board in Bilgewater for all to see whenever he returns to port, his ships heavy with loot. In recent times, Gangplank has been brought down by the machinations of the bounty hunter Misfortune. His ship was destroyed with all of Bilgewater watching, killing his crew and shattering his aura of invincibility. Now that they have seen he is vulnerable, the gangs of Bilgewater have risen up, fighting amongst himself to claim dominion over the port city. Despite receiving horrific injuries in the explosion, Gangplank survived, sporting a multitude of fresh scars and with a newly crafted metal arm to replace his amputated limb, he is now determined to rebuild his strength, reclaim what he sees as rightfully his, and to ruthlessly punish all those who turned against him. Admiral Kunkka here. As a young man, Kunkka served as a midshipman. He was ambitious, seeking to climb up the ranks. During his early days, he heard tales of great sharks longer than a frigate that hunted ships and devoured sailors. As he grew older and rose in rank, he earned the gold lace buttons that indicated his new status. As an adult, he hunted and killed the giant sharks he heard about as a young man, confirming that such legends were true. As the admiral of the mighty Cladish navy, Kunkka was charged with protecting the isles of his homeland when the demons of the cataract made a concerted grab at the lands of men. After years of small sorties and increasingly bold and devastating attacks, the demon fleet flung all of its carnivorous ships at the Trembling Isle. Desperate, the suicide mages of Clad committed their ultimate right, summoning a host of ancestral spirits to protect the fleet. Against the demons, this was just barely enough to turn the tide. As Kunkka watched the demons take his ships down one by one, he had the satisfaction of wearing away their fleet with his ancestral magic. But at the battle's peak, something in the clash of demons, men, and out of action spirits must have stirred a fourth power that had been slumbering in the depths. The waves rose up in towering spouts around the few remaining ships, and Mal Ran, the tentacular, appeared amid the fray. His tendrils wove among the ships, drawing demon and human craft together, churning the water and wind into a raging chaos. What happened in the crucible of that storm, none may truly say. The cataract roars off into the void, deserted by its former denizens. Kunkka is now the admiral of all but one ship, a ghostly rig which endlessly replays the final seconds of its devastation. Whether he died in that crash is anyone's guess. Not even Tidehunter, who summoned Malran, knows for sure. Kunkka is my I've name. decided that we're going to look at these two and what would happen during a ship battle, not necessarily just a 1v1 encounter. Kunkka will have heard rumors of the pirate gangplank, but due to his distance from his homeland, Kunkka would not view him as any sort of threat. One day, Gangplank would be out raiding and come across a lone ship. It just so happens to be a ship belonging to Kunkka's armada. Seeing this as a way to catch an even bigger fish, Gangplank would allow the ship to escape slightly damaged, knowing it would go back to rally even more ships for Gangplank to plunder. The damaged ship sauntered back to port to lay the sightings of the notorious pirate Gangplank. Kunkka, wanting to send a message to all pirates attempting to enter his water, gathers his ship and four others to not just destroy, but decimate Gangplank and his ship. Back aboard Gangplank's ship, a cry of ships ahead can be heard from the crow's nest. As he peers over the bow of the ship, his beard quivers into a slight smile. Every admiral he's fought has been equally and easily manipulated, just like Kunkka has now. Full sail ahead! Kunkka bellows, and the other ships of his fleet begin to circle and envelop Gangplank's singular ship. Kunkka hears a thud hit the side of his ship, and he curiously peers down to see barrels floating in the water. Hard to port, he yells, 
his ship turning as quickly as it can. At the same time, Gangplank gives his men the order to fire, igniting all the barrels in the water and causing an ear-deafening explosion. As the wreckage settles, Kunkka can see none of his other ships survived. Kunkka was ready to blame himself for this loss, but now was not the time. Steadying his emotions, he quickly surveyed the water. Seeing no more barrels or traps, he ordered his men to restraighten the ship and headed directly for Gangplank. Gangplank ordered his men to load the cannons with grappling hooks. Kunkka's ship would be a better trophy sitting in Bilgewater rather than at the bottom of the ocean. As both ships begin to pass each other, both captains give the order to fire. Gangplank's ship takes many hits, and Kunkka's begins to be pulled in. Gangplank's crew swarm in a hurried bloodlust, clearing a path on the deck. But Kunkka's men are hardened sailors. If they can just get past the number advantage, they can win. Gangplank casually lights a cigar in his mouth as he boards, making eye contact with Kunkka. He cuts open a few sailors as he makes his way to the helm, cutlass in one hand and a pistol in the other. The two begin a duel that would be so grand it would fall into legend as one of the greatest duels of all time. The Reaver King versus the Ghost Admiral. Something these sailors and thugs alike would tell their grandkids who would never believe such a tall tale. On the deck beneath them, the battle begins to shift. As Kunkka's men begin to gain the upper hand, the morale changes, and one by one Gangplank's crew either flees, surrenders, or falls. On the helm, both captains have sustained injuries from the other, but Kunkka's crew comes to back him up, surrounding the Reaver King, who has no other option but to drop his weapons, knowing defeat once more. Alright, now we're done with the Battle of the Lore, let's turn on to the Battle of the In-Game Abilities. If you need a summary on their abilities, here they are. If not, go to the time on the video right now to see the battle. And don't forget to like the video. Gangplank's passive empowers his next basic attack, causing it to burn the enemy over a duration. Gangplank's Q shoots his pistol at an enemy, and if it kills it, he gains gold and silver serpents, which he can spend to upgrade his ult. Gangplank's W is he eats an orange, which heals him and removes all crowd control effects. Gangplank's W allows him to place barrels around him, which can be connected if they're in close proximity. If he shoots one barrels, all those in proximity will explode, dealing damage. Gangplank's ultimate is a global AoE ability that slows and does damage. It can also be upgraded with Silver Serpents to deal more damage, attack faster, or give his allies movement speed. Kunkka's Q is Torrent, an AoE ability that after a delay, shoots enemies into the air and slows them when they land. Kunkka's W is Tidebringer, which enhances his basic attack and allows it to cleave in a cone. Kunkka's E is X Mark, which he can use on an enemy or an ally, and after a short duration, it will bring him back to the start of the cast. Kunkka's ultimate is Ghost Ship. After a delay to the targeted position, it'll crash, dealing damage and stunning all enemies. I think that this matchup is pretty cut and dry. Kunkka is very reliant on his full combo hitting from X marking them, landing a torrent and a boat on top of it, getting this massive stun plus damage combo in. Meanwhile, as soon as the X comes out, Gangplank can just W and disregard the X entirely. You know, that leaves Kunkka on full cooldowns, only able to auto attack. Meanwhile, all that Gangplank has committed is a W, which means he doesn't even have to worry about getting a full barrel set up because he can just Q poke Kunkka if that's his like very last resort because he has the initiative with just all three extra abilities up. Kunkka's ultimate also allows him to delay damage that he takes initially. So the burn damage from Gangplank's passive isn't going to be as effective. Plus that immediate explosion damage from barrel isn't as strong. So it's not like it's an instant win, but it will definitely be in Gangplank's favor, if not just a total win for Gangplank. 